It's time to preview some more fall sports from over at Scotts Bluff High School with the start of the season and competition set to get underway. Let's start with some of the most dedicated, passionate athletes you're going to find, the cross-country kids. Scotts Bluff head coach Aaron Carazales tells us about his overall group coming into the year. Overall, they're, they're ready to go. They're ready for the season to start. A lot of the kids showed up this summer. We had a great summer, great turnout. Um, there's not really any new faces. Um, we saw them all this summer, so uh, we're ex just excited to get started. They're, they're prepared and they're ready to race. A pair of veterans returned to lead the way for the Scotts Bluff girls, the Hannas. We start with Hannah Rugroden, who is a top 40 finisher at State a year ago. She says cross country is not for the faint of heart. It's honestly just the fact that you know, it's something hard that you can do. It's really hard. It's really difficult during the workouts. But, you know, whether it's a bad workout or a good workout, at the end, I always know I got through it. And I'm proud of myself for doing that. So it's all just about accomplishing something. Hannah Hertzler also ran at state with the Scotts Bluff team last season and says more of the same this year is the expectation. We're looking really good this year. We're definitely going to go to state. So we're looking to hopefully do really well at state or place, get a few girls really up there. And then for the Scotts Bluff boys team, how about this? There are no seniors on the squad, but Coach Carazales pointed out Jacob Mazer, saying he's looking like one of the team leaders this season. Cross country has one of the best team environments, and running all together kind of helps us bond as a team. And it's one of the very few co-ed sports where we all work together and get better together. After meeting up with the cross-country team, it was over to see the Bearcat boys' tennis squad, where a big season is the expectation. In fact, head coach Darren Emmerich thinks this could be his best team yet at SHS. Well, no doubt about it. I think in my eight seasons here, we've had some good teams, and we have off teams like any other sport. This team definitely has a higher skill level, commitment level, and has worked harder than any team I've ever had. So we're super excited. We've raised our expectations and our goals to match. Team captains had just been announced. Senior Kean Blomstedt breaks down his spot and what he's looking for big picture for the fellas. So I'm going to be playing one singles on uh, varsity this year, which is the highest level spot. Uh, there's six spots on varsity, um, one singles, two singles, uh, one doubles, two doubles, and I think that we have a good chance going into state. It'll be a good year for us. The other captain for Coach Emmerich is junior Nicholas Roberts. With 25-plus kids on the team, Roberts says there's plenty of internal competition which can really raise the level of the team throughout the year. Some of the lower varsity spots and a lot of the higher JV spots are always up for grabs. So you see five, six people all challenging each other, trying to get better, always trying to get those spots. Those spots that are a big privilege to a lot of people out here. And the more people we have, the more competition, the more growth you see. You can always find friends who are out on the weekends and hit and after school people always stay afterwards more people the more the merrier those were the two monday stops and then yesterday the temps were back into the upper 90s and brock ayler had his girls golf team out for practice it's a tradition rich program that has state titles as recently as 2020 and 2019 head coach brock ayler says they'll need to build this team up to try and make a run at districts and hopefully state yeah well First of all, how to learn how to face adversity. Um, I want to find out kids that want to grind. Um, you know, you find out sometimes, a lot of times real quick from multi-sport athletes, people want to dive on the floor and do a lot of things. And so they're able to get, you know, kind of smacked in the face or, or things are tough and they rise back up. So that's what we want to do, make sure they continue to grind and not always play for themselves. The top two returning players to the team this year are Addie Peck and Elliot Selzer. Let's start with Peck, the junior coming off a strong year, hoping to elevate her game even more this season. It was great last year. My my state didn't go as planned. I was sick the first day, but I still medaled in top 15. And then this year, I just I just want to be um, number one in the panhandle and going to state doing better than last year. And then Selzer, another junior. She was top 40 at state last year. She thinks this year's team is coming together pretty well here in the first couple of weeks. So far, this group has been really good. All the girls are really dedicated and hoping to get better, and it's just looking like a good year for us. These three stops wrap up all the fall camp visits at Scotts Bluff High. Gearing holding their fall media day today. We'll be able to catch up with the remaining teams for the Bulldogs we haven't visited with yet. Reporting for the Rural Radio Network, I'm Chris Cottrell.